Okay. Importantly, um, we've asked our panelists to present. We're still waiting for one um, to join, <laughs> but we're starting with Daria, so it will be okay. Um, our panel will focus on answering sort of three key questions in the context of one or more of their GLAM Wiki partnerships, successful partnerships. They will also share learnings and best practices from both the Wikimedian and GLAM partner perspectives as best they can represent those. Um, the workshop process will involve the capturing of the key elements in the panelists' presentations in which we seek to learn about the common themes, to plan ways that we might integrate um, those uh, those lessons learned and those best practices into our next steps with GLAM um, partnerships and to discuss how you can proceed along um, these where there's blockers will be part of that dialogue we ask that you engage in. We will start that today but we will not have time to finish it today. Um, and so we will also continue online to discuss how to proceed along this learning agenda. Oops. The questions are how do you identify your tracking and reporting needs within a GLAM partnership? Who are the key players? Who sets the demands for measurement and evaluation? Uh, what steps can you outline that are important strategic points um, for planning and implementing successful tracking and reporting? And what mistakes might we learn from? Our first presenter will be Daria, Program Manager at Wikimedia UK, um, followed by Axel Peterson uh, from Wikimedia Sweden, Sweden as the GLAM Outreach Project Manager and one of his institutional partners, Karen Mason, um, head of the Department of Digital Resources, will join us hopefully as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want to switch now? Let's try. Uh, Cross fingers. Technology. In, I, I think that says no device. No, 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 it's not. Is it? But it, was, it, it sort of flickered for, for a second. Oh, yes. Yes, yes it works for you. Hey. Good. It does. Amazing. Yay, super. <laughs> that's, that's really exciting. So I'm Daria and I work for Wikimedia UK and um, I'm a program manager there which means that I often work to set up partnerships with institutions. Could be GLAM, so it could be it could be something else as well. Um, so I wanted to talk about how I how I go through this process of, of working out what to measure when there is any sort of a project with a, with a GLAM institution. Um, and normally I just, um, I just go through this process with a person that I set up this whole project with. So it's the same person that, that, um, that I talk to to, um, to, to to scope out and then to run the project. This is the people that I talk to about metrics. Like there isn't really a discussion a different person involved there, um, from my perspective at least. Um, so I wanted to talk through the, through the process of working out what we're going to measure, but when I was thinking about this, I, I thought that it actually needs to start a bit earlier, like you need to think about, okay, why does this partnership even exist? Like, why do you, why are you doing a project at all? And um, before you start thinking what to measure in there. Um, and this is like one of my key points, like st start with the goals and, and see whether your institution and the institution you work with has at least some similar goals, like it, because that could mean that you have some sort of converging mutual um, interest, some, some benefits that you both want to work with. And when you have identified those, you could think, okay, how can we measure those joint things that we've uh, that we've agreed on, and um, I think this is like the way it should go. Um, and I wanted to show you an example of that. And um, when I started working with an institution called Museum Gallery Scotland, and um, it was before even the project started, but they needed to go back to their bosses and say, "Hey, this is it's gonna make sense to work with Wikipedia," and they did that by creating this internal. Um, pitch internal document in which they showed that oh this Wikipedia project is gonna reach our important goal um, E4.3 uh, um, and, and they showed like this goal and, and the project converge like it makes sense to do them together and, and I actually think that that point is 
brings me to my next important sort of learning point, which is that when you set up a project with a GLAM organization, it's not just your project, um, it's their project as well. And um, I think this is important because sometimes we can think, okay, like we're just using the partner for resources, for, I don't know, for venue or for, uh, for books that they've got, whatever. But it's actually, they need to um, approve it internally as well. They need to have it justified with their bosses. So it's their project and it's their goal goals as well so you need to think what do they want to get out of it and how it fits to their system and I think actually it's important to think in this way because there might be some different opinions about what the goals are and what could be measured and I'm going to go back to this point in a second but um, now I wanted to show you an example of how I talked through some goals with an institution. So going back to the Museum Gallery of Scotland, um, we've realized that there is one goal that we agree on. And um, then I was talking to them, okay, what do you actually want to do in the project? And they've listed some things that they want to do. Um, and I showed them, okay, if you want to do, um, if you want to increase the presence of your museums, this is how we can measure this in, in the Wikipedia context because they knew what they wanted to do, but they didn't know how to measure it in the context of Wikimedia projects. So I showed them, well, perhaps you could use um, our metrics <laughs> and, and measure the, the project in that way. And that was, that was good for both sides, I, I felt. Um, but then once you agree those and you know what to measure, well, someone needs to do the work, right? And, that can be the tricky part and to find out who's going to have the time to actually do the measurement and reporting and so on. And I don't have an answer to this. I kind of want to think um, in general, every context might be a bit different. But the thing that I try and do um, is show the institution the wiki tools that are already existing and my sort of reporting um, systems so hopefully they use them uh, and they don't introduce their own systems if that makes sense um, because say if you have a project and we have some some systems and things to measure and they've got their own systems you could end up with double reporting and double the, the work that needs to be done for the project so what I try and do is encourage them to use our systems so that it all stays um, the same um, one of the key things that I've learned is that if a project is externally funded, then that can bring another set of metrics and another set of reporting. So you've got to be careful as well with that, like there might be a third set that you need to relate to. <coughs> um, so this is like one potential problem that I found and I want to talk about uh, three more <laughs> problems. Um, one is something that I've, that I've mentioned uh, already, where say you've got an institution and you realize that you both believe in something and you, you have the same joint goal, like, I don't know, promoting free education on the internet. And you're like, yes, we both believe in this, that's brilliant. But then when it comes to it, you realize that actually you want to measure completely different things in there and they're just incompatible. Um, I'm going to try and give you an example. Uh, in the UK, we have uh, the Department for Culture who funds a lot of major institutions in the UK. And they give them money, they want some metrics back. And um, what they, the metrics that they want is the numbers of views of that institution's content, but only on their own websites. So if an institution releases stuff and it goes somewhere externally, that's not counted in the metrics that they needed for the funder. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so if an institution releases stuff on commons, it's not counted in their metrics, so they, they can't measure the stuff that we want them to measure to work together. And that's a big problem. It uh, involves, I don't know, negotiations with the Department of Culture in the government. So in the long term, probably it will find a solution. Um, the other thing that I find very interesting, and it was sort of 
mentioned in this conference so far is that um, because we are this open movement and open community, you can't <coughs> tell people what to do, right? So sometimes I have meetings with partner organizations and they ask, can we have this many articles created and this many volunteers brought into the project and whatever, like they give very fixed metrics, especially at the beginning and they need to be, um, I don't know, introduced to the openness and the open uh, community and explain that, look, you can't really direct things like that, you can't expect fixed um, targets to be reached by the project because it's an open voluntary movement. Um, and sometimes they get that. Sometimes the problem then is that they can't sell the project internally as well. They can't just go to their boss and say, hey, we're going to get this much content out of it. Like, that's good, right? Let's go with the project. Well, no, that doesn't work like this. And, and I just find it it's, it's an interesting challenge of working in an open, uh, in an open context where you have to base more on the fact that we believe in the similar things rather than give um, guarantee of fixed metrics that will come out of the project, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think so, maybe yeah. you can check if other people understand. So it's this tension of, of openness and open movement and uh, promising fixed things to the partner when you when you start the project. For example, like saying, you're going to have at least a million views of each of your images mm. would be disaster. Mm. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to say to finish the <laughs> project. Uh, so, are we just going to go to the next one? Yes. Yeah, sure. So, we'll ask, um, so first, um, and of course, to go ahead and engage with Karen, um, as, as it seems. Um, we're doing questions at the end, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. We're doing questions at the end.